sugar plum friends. Today I join you from my bathroom. Um, I apologize if it's a little messy, but this is real life. So I'm here to show you how to encourage choices in the bathroom. Um, you can encourage choices with any routine. You can take any task and give choices. Um, for the bathroom, I have some ideas. So toys, you could do choices, ducky, fish, or you could do color, blue, that wasn't a good choice, blue and blue. Okay, let's stick with ducky, fish, um, or soap, pink, white, or your loofahs, blue, pink, or your towels, orange, yellow. So in all these choices, it doesn't really matter what the kid chooses because it's all the same. Oh, I have another one. Toothbrush, green, Orange. So you're not asking the child, do you want to take a bath or not? You're at, you're saying, we're going to take a bath. Do you want pink soap or white soap? Or you're not asking him, do you want toys? You're giving him a choice. Do you want the duck or the fish? So these are visual things that they can see and will help them make the choices. And when you're trying to make the kid make a choice, we look for, again, eye contact. I talk a lot about that. Eye contact, pointing, and vocalizations or words. So for loofahs, we're not going to say, do you want a loofah? We're going to say, what do you want to wash with? Pink or blue? Pink or blue? Not a lot of language, just modeling. Pink, modeling, blue. Or if you think this is more of a purple. Anyway, pink, blue. And you say it a couple times and you give that waiting face. And maybe they'll look to the pink. Yeah, you're right. Pink is good. Pink, 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 pink. Or if they point, again, pink is good, yeah, pink, 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 pink. Or if they say something, pa, or ah, or e, sounds more like pink. If it's like a ah, or a pa, pa, or a ooh, or blue, then it's more of a blue. Um, and again, you're modeling the words. So pink, blue, after they make their choice, after they make their choice, then you model it again. Pink, you write pink, scrub, 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 pink, pink, pink. Um, if, you, if there's a close chance that a child might say the word, you could hold on to it a little bit. You want pink or blue? And then wait. If you think your child might say the word or might give a little more than a point, just wait a little bit. Count, you know, 30 seconds in your head with that waiting face. Pink, pink, modeling the word. Pink, pink, so they know what to say. And not say, say pink. Don't do that. We don't want that. Pink, pink. Oh, pink, pink, pink. And if they say something, give it to them. If you wait that 30 seconds, 40 seconds, and nothing comes out, you still give it to them. And you model it. Pink, pink, pink. I like pink. Um, so toothbrushes, soaps, toys, towels, all of these things, bubbles, shampoos, washcloths. All of these things are controlled choices. And that way your child thinks they have a choice, but you know the choice doesn't really matter. You just want to bring language and you want them to feel like they have some control and feel like they have a say and they're part of the routine. Instead of you just washing, 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 get out, they are part of the routine. They are helping move the routine along. Now I'm gonna see if I can find some other things that I can show you for choices. All right, hold on. Okay, so now I'm in my son's room, and so dressing is another way to make choices. Again, it doesn't really matter what they choose. You're just giving them a choice. So, red shirt, blue shirt, red, blue. Or if you wanted to do a character, you know, robot, Mario, <laughs> if you wanted to do that. Um, keep it simple. Try to keep it simple words. So if your kid's not familiar with the word Mario or robot, um, I wouldn't go with that. But um, shirt, red, blue, red, blue. Wait, you want blue. There's your blue shirt. Let's put it on, 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 on. So you're giving choices. And again, a controlled choice. It doesn't matter if they pick red or blue. It doesn't matter. No worries. Um, Shoe, boot, shoe, boot. What 
you want? Wait, 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 wait. Boot, boot, let's put on your boot. Ooh, nice boot. So again, modeling the words, simple language, waiting face, and giving that control to your child. Last one, socks. Blue, red. What do you want? Blue, red. Blue, red. Wait, 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 wait. Eye contact, pointing, words, uh, uh, uh. Right, blue, there's your blue, blue sock. On, on, on. You're just waiting for something. You're waiting for that choice to be made, whether it's through eye contact, gestures, vocalizations, hopefully a word. That would be awesome. I wouldn't go with, do you want shirts or pants? Um, because he's gonna get a shirt or pants both ways. I mean, unless you're just hanging out in the summer. But most instances, your child will wear a shirt and pants. So choices of shirts, choices of pants, choices of socks, choices of shoes. Those are all great opportunities. And you might not wanna do that all at once because it might be too much, maybe you're in a hurry, but just pick one and see if he wants to pick a shirt today or if he wants to pick his shoes. That's great. Um, if you want to do something silly, like if you wanted to say, do you want a marker or a shirt? Like if you're trying to sabotage the environment and kind of get some different things out. Um, if it's dressing up time and he wants to go outside, do you want a marker? You want a shirt? Shirt? Marker? He might be like, wait, that's weird. Uh, of course I want a shirt. So that's a, again, a far, it's a far away choice. Marker and shirt are not related. So hopefully they'll pick the shirt and say, yeah, shirt, I want the shirt. Or, or look at it or gesture. Shirt, there's your shirt. Um, I'm gonna go look around and see what else I can find to make choices. All right, hold on. Mommy, when you're ready, I'm gonna say hello, okay? Go ahead. Hello, friend. We're gonna know about food. Yes, okay. So in the bedroom, I mentioned close choices and Far away choices. I need to explain that better. So close choices are things that are related closely. So like fork and spoon or two different kinds of cookies. Those are all closely related. Things that are far, far related would be like goldfish and a baby. So if your child is just getting used to choices and just starting choices, oh, goldfish. These, yeah, these far away choices would be a good way to start. If goldfish is little fish with head, tails, and ice jacket. Okay, ready? Hey you, what do you want? Fish, baby. Fish. Fish. So she pointed. She doesn't want the baby because she's hungry. Um, if you know what your child wants and they're hungry, give them what they want in one choice and what they definitely don't want in the other choice. How I counted the marker and um, the shirt. So what else? I have a whole bunch of food here. I just went grocery shopping, so I have bunches of choices I can Mommy, show you. There we he went a billion nice. Okay. So uh, another choice you could do, a far choice, would be do you want a fork or do you want a strawberry? Fork, strawberry. Strawberry. Right. So we're pointing or gesturing to indicate the choice that we want. And for strawberry, I might just say red or berry because strawberry is a really big word. You might want to break it down a little bit. And you know, cookies. <laughs> okay, I have two cookies that might be hard to, hard to decipher. One has sprinkles, one has chocolate. So when your child gets really good at choices, you can do really close related yeah, things. You, you know, applesauce or strawberry. Mm-hmm. Applesauce or strawberry. Sprinkles or chocolate. The kid's gonna get a cookie no matter what. Make it nice. Yes. Cookie or chocolate. So it's a controlled choice. You just wanna know what they want. Either way, they're getting a cookie. Um. What else? Oh, if you know the child wants milk, say, or they want juice, they do, you drink juice throughout the day, give them a choice of cup. Every time they want something, do you want a red cup or a blue cup? Red or blue? Red or blue? They're gonna get juice no matter what, but this is a choice they can make. Clara, 
red, or blue. I'm looking at her eyes to see which one she chooses. Eyes go back and forth, she's not sure. Uh, red. Red! So we're looking for the eye contact. Red, you want red? We're looking for the gesture, the point. Red, you want red? We're looking for the vocalization. Ah, ah, red, you want red? Or the word, red. Red, you want the red cup. So those are the steps to the choices they're gonna make. Eye contact, to pointing, or to reaching, then vocalizations, then words, and then maybe more than one word, like two word phrases. Um, if you feel like your child can say the word, you can maybe hold out a little bit longer. Okay, hold on, I have to talk to my friends. You can hold out a little bit longer. I don't put it out for that one deal. Okay, so if you wanna hold out a little longer, Red, you want the red cup, the red cup, the red, and wait, 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 till they figure out that they need to say something. If they say, ah, red, red cup, give them credit for that vocalization. If they try, red, that's okay, it doesn't have to be red, just a try, a word approximation, we call it. Red, red, that's red, good job. Okay, some other choices. Um, Can we see that? Sprinkle cookie for me. A sprinkle cookie? Sprinkle or chocolate? Sprinkle. Okay, sprinkle. You can have this one. Okay. I'm done with my demonstration. Um, yum, 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 yum. Yum, yum, yum. If you eat that, you can say yum, 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 yum. That's right. We do say yum, yum, yum when we eat. Yum, are, yum, 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 yum. They're delicious. Um, mm -hmm. Another choice could be TV time. I thought about this, like tablet time or TV time. Um, you could do a picture menu. That's one option. So picture menu would be two pictures of the shows they like. Do you want a Mickey Mouse? Do you want a Sesame Street? Or if you're lucky enough, like I happen to have these ones, you could do this. Stand by the TV. Do you want Mickey? Hold on, hold on. Mickey, do you want Mickey, Mickey Mouse Mickey, or Elmo? Mickey. And if they're pointing, maybe they can relate it to the TV. If that's too abstract, a toy to a TV. Mickey, the picture menu Mickey, might be better. Maybe just take a screenshot of the show. You know, Hold on, and then print Mickey it out. Have a show. It does. It's the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. So you can take a picture I'm a of Mickey. Town. I have that. That's okay. I'm a town. Yes. Kids. She's my very talkative assistant. So Mickey Mouse Clubhouse picture. Thomas the Train picture. Which one do you want? <laughs> Mickey Thomas. Mickey Thomas. And if it changes, there's really you do like Mickey. And if it changes, you can just print out a different picture and do the other two choices. If your child has like 17 million choices that they like to do, don't start with 17 million. Start with two. Two main choices. And if it gets they get used to it, then maybe you can go them fish. Three choices. Oh, or five choices. Right, those are our choices. Two choices. You're modeling simple language. You're giving a choice, a controlled choice, so they can say or try to say what they want. And then everyone wins. So choices in the bathroom, choices in the bedroom with dressing, or even with diaper changes, you could do some choices. Do you want tickles on your belly? Do you tickle, want tickles on your feet while you're doing diaper changes? Tick, uh, not tickles, but uh, choices in the kitchen. You can do food, you can do cups, you can do utensils, you can mix everything up. Do you want a baby or do you want a cup? Baby. That's ridiculous, of course I want a cup because it's drinking time. You can mix things up like that. Um, baby. Yeah, baby. what else? And of course playtime, you can always do cho choices with playtime. You know, I'm a mommy with a chilla baby. Okay, do you wanna say bye? I think we're done. Bye. All right, bye, thanks for watching. No, I'm not person. Okay.